I'm back out here working on the round bell feeder again today and there's sort of a sense of urgency to get this finished, not because I need to use it right away, but more because I want to get finished with all the welding out here in the hay yard so that I can finally finish filling up the barn. Today is supposed to be another really hot day, well over 100 degrees, and I'm not really looking forward to that, but you know, this has to get done, so we're going to do it. That's what's going on today on Farmer Tyler Ranch. Last video you guys saw me build this like archway hoop whatever you want to call it um, and today my my goals are probably not as lofty but we'll see sometimes that changes as the day goes on I mostly want to get my pipes welded from the new hoop post to the old manger post and then on the other side I need to do something to fill this gap as well. Now, originally I had thought about welding a piece of angle iron onto that post and then putting boards across this gap, but the more I look at it, the more I don't really like that idea. This wooden post is not straight. This post is very straight, so the boards are, they're not gonna fit up very nice. So now I'm kind of leaning towards the idea of like welding just stub shafts right off of this pipe. Um, or right off of this post that would fill this gap in and then in the event that I want to eventually rip this out and replace it I could just weld onto those pipes so I'm not really sure those are just kind of the ideas that I've got right now in because I knew that I wanted them at the same level as these pipes on this feeder over here. Uh, the only thing that I'm kind of running into here is that now to fill in the rest of the gaps here I'm, I'm gonna have a pretty big gap in between the pipes. So I've got my other two pieces clamped up where they will go and I keep looking at it and it's like man it's definitely big enough for a cow to get her head through there if a small calf really wanted to, it could probably get through that. However, I doubt that that would ever really become a problem. So I don't know. I got to stare at this and think about it for a while. If I added a fifth pipe, then that would just mess my spacing all up. And I know that I want to keep these two where they're at. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep it with four. And if it ends up being a problem in the future, I can weld like smaller pipes in between. I really don't think it's gonna be an issue though. And this pipe is so heavy. I mean, even if a cow does stick her head through there, what's it really gonna hurt, right? All right, this side is done and I think it actually turned out really good. I think the four pipes is gonna be fine. Like I say, if in the future I'm having problems with it, it's easy enough to fix. But for now, that looks good. So now we move on to the other side. And before I talk about that, I'm going to address my hat because every time I wear this hat, people think I've lost my mind. And what this is, this is a welder's hat. It's made out of flame retardant material and it's for, you know, if sparks or whatever land on your head, it protects your scalp. So I've just been staring at this other side. I know earlier in the video, I talked about 
the two things that I was considering doing, but the more I think about it, the more I'm just like, you know what, the right way to do this, and, and what I will eventually do is rip this little remaining section of bunk line feeder out of here and put a steel post in right next to the barn and then connect with horizontal pipe back to my entrance to the feeder. That's the right way to do this. I have the steel to do it. I even have enough concrete left over to do it. So it's gonna probably add another day to this project, but the more I think about it, the more it's just, just do it now, just be done with it. If I do that now, then this, this whole perimeter of the corral, save for the south side, is done. And, you know, I think in the big picture, that's the right thing to do. So that means I need to do a little bit more demo here. But then I'm going to need another panel to sort of block off this work area because I'll have another gaping hole in the fence. Uh, tomorrow that won't be a big deal after I move the cows, but I need to, if I'm going to do this, then I need to start it today. So I'm going to have to go round up another panel and make myself a little bit uh, bigger of an area to work here. I've got a few panels here. This one is bowed in pretty bad, but I kind of have a feeling if I flip it on its side and jump on it, I might be able to get it straight enough to use it for this application. Well, since the cattle are gonna be fighting to get in the shade under the barn here, I think I wanna use this uh, heavier duty homemade panel right there because they're probably gonna be bumping into it with their butts and everything. And, and we all saw what happens to these, these thin panels when that happens. So I guess I just gotta take all these down and sort of just rework it all to make it how I want it. All right, this is looking good now. I think that I've got my strong panel where I need a strong panel. And then the rest of these, there's no incentive really for them to want to get into where I'm standing. So this ought to work fine. I actually didn't make the strong homemade panel here. Uh, actually, I bought this from Adam, the guy that I bought the wheat from a couple of videos ago. I bought this from his dad or his uncle. I don't remember which it was. It lived at Adam's house back when they had cattle. And I mean, this was years and years ago, but uh, I've got it now still, still being used and still works great. I'm tighter than I thought. Guess that's why we have tractors. Blow my back out. Okay. Right. Do it. There we go. 
I got my post in the ground now and as luck would have it, this old piece of angle iron on what used to be the manger is actually gonna work perfect for me to use as a prop for this post. And with an old piece of angle iron and a couple of clamps, I've got this thing locked in dead level. So what's nice about that is that now I can pour concrete in there. I don't have to keep checking level, but even better is that I can just go right to welding these horizontal pipes in and not have to worry about this post moving. Next step is cutting and welding hot work, so to speak. We're gonna make some sparks. So I've got the sprinkler running again, and while it's sort of soaking this area down over here, that's a good time to hop on the tractor, see if I can't yank this old uh, metal brace out of the ground. You know, I think I almost had it. I probably could have done it by hand if I would have tried just a little bit longer. This was a lot more work than I planned on doing today, but now that I'm almost done, these are only tacked into place right now to give me a false sense of accomplishment. I still need to come back and weld all of this stuff, but it's too hot, I'm too beat. It's just not gonna happen today. But like I was about to say, now that this is pretty much done, I am glad that I went ahead and took the extra effort to just do this the right way and be done with it forever. And I think this actually looks really nice. I'm happy with it. Because I was able to get this mostly done, I'm still pretty much on schedule for what I was hoping to get done today or where I was hoping to be. And I'll be ready to do what I was hoping to do tomorrow. So I still need to clean up tools here and do a little bit of fire watch, but I'm about spent for today. Thanks for hanging out with me today, guys, and I hope I'll see you again on Farmer Tyler Ranch. Mm -hmm.